Hey guys, beautiful day here in North Italia. It's about midday right now, minus 13 out. Beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm gonna head down my trap line. I got my chainsaw. I left my chisel there. I made some beaver snares there the other night. I'm gonna go set them. We got a fresh snow last night. So we got lots of snow. All my traps are all my traps are buried. So and here in this set, this link came down my trail. Comes up and I got a number three coyote soft catch right in this little pen here. You see we got about six inches of snow. Yeah, you see the link, he walked all around there. Stepped on my trap, which is right here. Sniffed the bait. You see he stepped right in my pen. Then he took off. So I got some snares up ahead and a couple more lag holes. Maybe we got him in a snare. I don't know, hard to say. I don't don't think so, but we'll just see, I guess, huh? Pretty nice start to the day. Just heading down my trap line here. Come up to one of my first snares. This snare was just on a, a walking trail. That's a big link. That is a brute. That's a nice link. I got one snare in there and another one up ahead. It looks like you got caught in the second one there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a big link, that one. Whoa. Got him right around the neck. You see here, I don't... <coughs> I don't know how the hell I got him around the neck with all the snow. See, here's one of my little trails here. You know, these are real effective, these little walking snare trails. Make a little trail in the bush and there's lots of rabbits and the old link, they just love following them. <coughs> okay, so this is a good start to the day. Yeah, that's a nice link. We'll have a better look at him here in a little bit. I'll just go up on and see where he came from. Oh yeah, he came right down my line. I bet that was the one that just uh, <coughs> not too far from here is where, where I had the lag hold and the big old links walked in it. Never triggered off because we got a lot of fresh snow. So this is my little walking trail here where I got that link. You see he drug my toggle a little bit. So yeah, I'll replace the snare on this trail. And we'll go get our we'll go get our beaver snare set. Oh yeah, oh. this is a big old lynx. Oh yeah. He probably weighs 35 pounds, I bet. What a brute. This will be an XL, definitely an XL. <coughs> Put him right around the neck. Oh yeah. Oh. Right on. Right on. He ain't even frozen, so this would have been a last night catch. Oh, this is good. Throw him in my bag. I'll pass him in the sleigh. We gotta dig some more traps and snares out. I wanna get some beaver snares set. We're running out of daylight. Let's get going. Okay, we're back at this beaver house. I shoveled out two spots where I'll put two snare poles. I'll keep it fairly close to the house. There are feed piles on that end. So I'm trying to hit hit a run on each one. You know, that'd be great. And here I got one poplar and one birch. These are both live. You know, I'll uh, put my snares on them. We'll, we'll submerge the snares under the ice. Four snares on each pole. We'll keep the snares right at the bottom of the ice. and. We'll just see how this works. Okay, the sun's going down, so we got to be quick on this one. Okay, so here's our pole set. We've got four snares on it. We had uh, two on the top and then two on the bottom. So these will go in the hole and the ice will sit. These will sit right at the bottom of the ice, maybe an inch down from the ice. <coughs> the beaver, they come out of their house. They see this pole, they come, they swim around, they go up to the top. And they go to chew it off at the top by the ice and you get them in one of these snares here. So you see these snares, if they chew this pole, that's all right. You see I got a wire that runs up through all these snares. So if they do chew the, chew the pole off, I just pull my toggle 
this wire here, it'll be up out of the ice and I'll tie it off on that stick. And then I can just pull my snares up, hopefully with a beaver on them. Okay, let's get this set here and get out of here. She looks a little crude, but it's gonna work. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna catch a beaver on this snare pull, hopefully by the neck this time. You know, the more you set them, you know, the quicker you'll get at it. Like I, I screwed around here trying to pull this ice out. Ice out. I didn't. When I cut it, I should have angled it in. The ice kept sinking in. So, I, yeah. So, anyways, so this gets submerged now. The ice, bottom of the ice will be right there. I'll get her set for that. And the beaver, he'll come to chew on my pole here, swim around, and I should get him. I'm right on the edge of the feed pile. I hope that doesn't screw up my snares here. That's it. That's it, man. So what I'll do here now, I'll throw these old blocks of ice in there. In North Bay, I was told by Mark and Mark to throw your block of ice in there, and then when, the, when you catch a beaver, they don't float up onto the top here, and then they freeze into the ice, and then you got to chisel them out. That's a real pain in the ass, huh? So I'll throw these, these blocks of ice back in here. I'll come back in two days. We'll check. We'll check our snares. Okay. Now let's pull here. We do catch a beaver. We won't be able to pull our snare, you know. So we'll tie this wire off here. This is a wire that goes down and it's connected to all four of my snares. So we'll tie it off on here. If a beaver did get caught in there and they did chew the chew the stick and everything, you know, I don't want to lose my whole set. So if they do, that'll be all right. With this pole. This is what I'm toggling off my snares to. So if the beaver chew the pole and take off with my snare, well this here will keep that from happening, so tie her off. I'm gonna throw a little bit of snow on here and we're gonna get it going. So there's our beaver snare pole set. I tried keeping it as close to the house as possible. I'm kind of standing on their feed pile right here, huge feed pile. There's probably 12 beaver living in this house. Eat for sure, I bet. That's just a, a guess. So that's it. There's our beaver snare pole. Pack my sleigh up. We'll uh, put my gear away and then we'll take off. Okay, guys, we're going that way. Just on my way home from doing my beaver. Beaver pole set, resetting my traps. It's coming from that way, you see all the trees are just overhanging down my trail. I picked up a nice lynx here. I got this guy in a number three coyote soft catch lag hold. He's still alive, right in here, so I'll shoot that guy there and we'll have a look at him. Throw him in the sleigh with the other lynx and reset that trap and it's gonna be dark by the time we get home. Oh yeah, this is a nice link, this one. Got him right by the front foot. That's a nice catch right there. That's a good catch. See the spots on him. Oh yeah. Right on. Nice looking links. Still, a, still pretty brown, huh? I think they would thought they would have been changed a lot more. We'll reset that trap. We'll head on down the line. This is my last trap. All my traps are checked now today. So, you know, this is a good two link day today. For the amount of traps I have out, you know, that's just, that's pretty damn good. So, 
get these guys back to the cabin. It'll be dark by the time we get back. Right on. Good day here, I told ya. Can't wait to check my beaver snares. <clears throat> Hopefully I got a beaver. Let's take some bets on that. I'm pretty confident. <laughs> 